Hey guys, another rubber toe assembly here, the 11 by 21 lifetime storage shed with the two extensions. It's the big one that makes it 21 feet. Uh, here we got section 13 right off the bat, the trim installation section 13 in the book. Uh, it just consists of these little brackets. Looks like we're going with the front two corners first, little side trim corners that go on there, plastic. And these little brackets that are getting put on the front side are the metal ones. There should be, I think, five of them. Yeah, five of them going down the front side. There's a little pre-drilled hole that they screw into. It makes it nice and easy. And the instruction books will tell you how they go on to show you a little nice picture in there. But anyway, here are your side corner trim pieces. And your roof cannot be, your roof tile cannot be uh, already put on as you see there you got to put these corners on you got to have the roof off to do it see how they slide in from the top so these metal brackets that go on the front side are already installed there with the screw as you saw and the uh, plastic corner cover slides over the top and slides straight down on all five uh, you got you got to jiggle it a little, little bit or pull it away from the metal so that it slides through that channel and then slide it all the way down to the bottom flooring and the back two corners are going to be very similar to these but they're the brackets the little L brackets on the corner are going to be the plastic ones there should be what five uh, ten of those uh, plastic ones and then ten metal ones and these here are the metal ones that screw into the front metal the little holes in the door jams on each side of the shed there in the front and so the plastic cover screw, uh, slides right onto those brackets that were screwed on. And there you see the other side of it. I probably had to adjust that bracket a little bit to pull it away from the metal so that the bracket would slide through the side channels of that little corner cover strip. And you just slide the cover strip all the way down to the bottom and they're on. Perfect. I think they get one little set screw on one of the sides to hold them on there as well. And then on to the back two, I was just telling you these brackets are the plastic ones and they have this little groove with the hole. You can see there perfectly. Boom! It pops right into where it has to go and then you get a screw here and another screw on the other side, is it? Uh, yeah showing you here real quick the other side looks like has already been installed all the brackets boom you get screwed boom 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 all the way down the line <clears throat> and you'll see they have the little holes there the marks where they drop in to the corner there they can only go one way they, you wiggle them into that little groove and then you screw them down so they're all on nice and firm you don't want them to be swinging around too loosely so just screw them on there firmly because you're going to come back through as you see right here and drop that uh, corner slice cover right down through the grooves on the sides of the cover down and over each bracket as you see there nice nice and it just slides on you just line the bracket into the grooves on the side of the cover just like on the front two sides just wiggle it around there until it's on and slide it all the way down to the bottom. <clears throat> You're going to have a little extra space here, but I like to have the extra space at the top because see how the roof right there it just showed covers that little extra space. And here's your uh, set screw. Yeah, shown here. Put it right there on the top. And the other side, same thing, set screw. But you can see how the roof piece kind of overlaps, so any kind of excess it's kind of hidden up there tucked underneath the roof anyway on to section 14 the gable installation um, this back wall is what you see here the gable is going to be on top laid on top across there the whole top of the wall there it's going to lay it's going to set right in there and each one of those <clears throat> brackets on the wall there are going to help hold it to the wall with screws all along that bottom side of it which would be the top of your wall all those little holes you see on the top of the wall there's going to get a screw up into those and into the bottom of the gable there I'm just manhandling this thing <laughs> a 
over to the back side. If you have two people, it's even way better. Someone on the other side can kind of help you hold that where it has to go, and it drops into this little channel. And you see those brackets that are going right up the wall? Looks like the outer ones need to be moved in a little bit, if you can see there. If I have to adjust those, I will. I'll move them in a little bit. They look like they're put on a little bit wide. A couple of screws just to hold them in place. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, there's see it out on the edge there. It's going all the way to the top of the gable there. If you bring it in a little bit, you can see there's another set of holes there. Anyway, you get it to balance up there or have two people and one person holds it. If you look on the right-hand side, right there, just dropped into play, was uh, the corner of the gable. It's a little square shape, and it drops right into a groove on the right-hand side. And then I jump over to the left-hand side. I'm just adjusting there the bottom line of the gable. I jump over to the left hand side put, put a couple of uh, set screws to hold it and those rails, uh, those rails that shoot up the side of the wall there uh, there's one screw or two that are going to screw into the gable that will help a lot hold the gable in place where it has to go and you could put the screw in say three quarters of the way in so it's a little bit loose maybe give you some play where you can swing the gable around and kind of wiggle it even better so it's lined up perfectly, which I believe it is, right there, nice and flush along that top wall line, which would be the bottom of your gable line. Uh, there you go. I used a uh, flathead screwdriver to kind of wiggle in there and lift it up into the groove so it sits nice and flush perfect. And those holes should all line up. The more perfect you have the holes lined up, the better. You can see a nice, flat, smooth section there. And then you can put your, you can tighten the holes, I mean the screws into the holes on the top of the that run along the gable there, that channel, tighten those bolts also as well, snug them all up, and you're all set, and there's your corner brackets that hold your corner together on the inside view, all these screws you can go through now and snug them all up, set your torque on your drill if you're using a drill to medium or low, so you don't want to pop them all the way through, keep drilling, anyway there's your left side as you can see it's straight and uh, if you jump over to the other side there's a little block that drops into place which has already been lined up perfectly and off to the other side gable which has your three doors instead of a wall there there's three doors you have to deal with and it has that top that long bracket right there that channel where the wheels roll the gable is going to screw to that and there's not as many holes for screws to go into to hold the gable up as you have on the other side but you do have I think at least four here's one the first one must have lined up nice and perfect there so I put a screw to hold it and then a second one right where I'm at towards the outside screw that down and then onto section 15 roof assembly and as you can see the gable is there screwed down and holding itself up with the screws you come around to the side and put sh and start putting your wall I mean your roof uh, tiles up on top of the roof there I'm doing this one from the outside you can also utilize um, these extra screws that they give you they're a little bit longer than the little short fat ones and you can put them on the uh, certain locations on the inside of the uh, roof tile that have little bubbles with a, like a little hole at the end of the bubble and I put a little bit of uh, half say half the screw through there you don't want to screw it all the way through because you don't want to put a hole in the roof you just want to have like a little handle to pull the roof here it shows great views of the outside of what it looks like see all lined up there and it drops into the channel Oh, and a nice inside view as well here and uh, you get all the holes to line up where they need to go once you see the pre-drilled set hole pilot hole actually on the uh, roof tiles lined up through the holes where it's supposed to go you just put these screws the little shorties into this all the way down the gable side right there as you see angle coming down screws line up go ahead and put screws in boom boom as you see there on the wall panel two screws there you know and it uh, it sucks the 
roof tile down and pulls it all together when you put these screws in. Zip zip. Looks like the other side is on there also nicely. Two screws there connecting it to the wall and then along that truss on the inside is several screws holding it to the truss as well and then the other side is holding it to the gable and that's how your door should work in the front section and the gable is installed and secured down with the roof tiles here are your other roof tiles all the way down the rest of the way they're going to be installed just as you see here same fashion as the corners and they go on the same way you line up all these holes with the holes that are in the top of your wall line there and if you look through each one of these holes you might have to clear a bunch of the excess plastic buildup what I called it that's inside these holes sometimes just to see through the holes so you make sure it's lined up you have to pull a little bit of extra plastic out of there it's called deburring we have a video on that as well to deburr all this before you start and you'll be able to see through without any uh, goop in the way any plastic buildup in the way Anyways, as you see there, just like the previous tile on the corner, this is a, one of the window tiles that goes in. This is where one of the windows at. So we put the window tiles here. Boom, boom. And all along the truss, you put several screws there, holding it down, and all along the side of the other truss as well. Here is a little bit of a, the deburring I was telling you about. This particular roof tile piece had a little bit of extra plastic buildup that you don't really want and that's going to uh, sit right up next to the other roof tile so if you have too much plastic buildup on each piece <laughs> by the end of you won't be able to get your third or fourth piece on because of the plastic buildup has pushed it off where the holes don't line up so as you can see there a nice demonstration of deburring they say always slice pointing away from you of course so I probably couldn't get it that angle so I just do quick slices there if you have a nice sharp blade just be careful of course because you have a sharp blade but it works a lot better with a sharp sharp blade when you slice off all the excess plastic on the edges of these pieces deburr them if you will and then um, looks like the roof spline is going up Everywhere where you see one of those those two little screws with a bracket, those are just little brackets that hold a center bracket on each one of these roof tiles as well. You put that, you put those on across each roof piece, and then you insert the top spline, just as you see here. Four screws to hold it down with washers. They're short, skinny, short screws. And with the washer on there, it pulls it tight to the front. Nice spline is what I call it. The top spline of your roof all the way down. They all go on the same way. There's the last one <laughs> going up. So, or second to the last maybe, perhaps, going up. And then here looks like the last one going up. Is that towards the front or the back? Either way, the end gable. Uh, it's just like all the others. I'm just putting a screw here as you see those holes on the inside of these pieces Just so I can get my fingers on it and move it around from the inside and manipulate it to where the Holes are lining up as you see there just like as you see and then with the drill just zap it Zip it on there put the screw in there. Remember set your torque settings to low And there you have it I have a screw in on the other side too. It helps me grab the screw and use it to pull, like a tool to pull the top spline in and put all the screws in. And there you go, top spline in and roof. Thank you guys for watching and the gables as well. The rubber toe assembly, it's 11 by 21. Tri door, tri fold door, storage shed. Great, looks beautiful. Alrighty guys, our rubber toe over now.